uterine artery embolization is a safe procedure. There are no incisions. Uh, all, the whole procedure essentially goes through a needle hole where a catheter is inserted into the arteries and down to the arteries that supply the uterus. So where we enter the arteries, typically in the left wrist, which seems kind of far from the uterus, but it is where we go, um, there can be issues of bleeding or blockage of that artery. Uh, in terms of the artery that we select, there's plenty of what's called collateral flow or backup flow. Um, so even if it does clog up, uh, you should be well protected. However, the chance of that happening is way less than 1%. The other potential issues uh, with uterine artery embolization is that we use a dye to be able to see the arteries that supply your uterus. And some people can have a reaction to that dye, typically rash or itching, but every once in a while, just as the same as people are allergic to peanuts or bee stings, some people can have a severe reaction, even dropping their blood pressure or having trouble breathing. It happens right away here in our facility. We're trained and we have all the medications available to treat it. And uh, it's a temporary situation which can be easily controlled. Over the long term, the potential issues with uterine artery embolization are that we are taking away the blood supply to the fibroids. The way the body fights infections are with cells that travel around the bloodstream, and when they detect an infection, they go attack it. They obviously cannot get into the uterine uh, fibroids anymore, and there is a risk of infection. To mitigate that risk, we have patients take antibiotics just before our procedure, and I keep them on them for about five to seven days after the procedure. Uh, the numbers that are quoted are around 2% risk of infection. Uh, in our experience, it's been much lower, uh, possibly because we are generous in our use of antibiotics. Um, the one issue that is sort of still being investigated is the effect of uterine artery embolization on the ability to become pregnant and fertility. It seems at this time that it does not reduce fertility and therefore you cannot consider it as a birth control mechanism. Uh, but uh, again, uh, it cannot be said with complete assurance that if you're strongly desiring to have pregnancy in the future, that this is the procedure for you. That being said, we've had some young women in their 20s who no other procedure was useful for uh, to try and increase their fertility. We've performed procedures safely and they've carried term pregnancies.